Okay guys, so in this video, let's see that how do we create branches, how do we delete branches and finally how do we merge branches and inside merging we will be seeing that how do we keep the commit history, how do we merge branches using squashing and then how do we merge branches if there are conflicts and how do we undo the merging of branches. And you all know that what branching is and that was explained in the very first video that was the introduction video of this series. So let's see that how do we create branches. So here we are inside our project and we see that we have created this project that contains only a single file that is called index.html and if we do git status here then we see that our working tree is clean and if we make log statements of one line we'll be seeing four commit messages here. And this is the final commit that we made that says MVP ready. And then we have two other commits here or rather three other commits. Firstly, we added index.html, then we added feature A, then we added feature B and finally the MVP ready commit here. And this is basically these things here that is feature A, feature B and MVP ready. So let's quit from this thing here by pressing Q here. And now what I'll do, firstly we should know that how do we list all the branches. So to list all the branches, what we can do, we can simply do git branch like this and we see here that currently we only have a master branch. So now what do we want to do? We want to create a branch like this. So right now we are at this point that is MVP ready and now we want to create a new branch where we would experiment our great feature which can be added to our application and that can be merged finally into the master branch. So let's see that how do we create this XYZ branch. So firstly we need to press Q to quit this thing. And now to create a branch, what do we need to do? We simply need to do git branch and then the name of the branch and this can be any name. So let's call it XYZ for now because it matches with our this thing here that is XYZ branch. And now if we press enter, nothing will happen. But if we do again git branch, then we'll be seeing two branches on our project. So here we see that we have the master branch and the XYZ branch. But currently we are working on the master branch since it is a start. So now how do we switch to the XYZ branch? So that is pretty simple to do. So what you can do, you can simply do git checkout and the name of the branch and the name of the branch in our case was XYZ. So let's do XYZ here and let's press enter. And now it says that we have switched to branch XYZ and we can verify that by using again this thing here that is get branch. So if we do get branch again and now we see that the asterisk or the star is on the XYZ branch. So, that's so that makes us sure that we are working on the XYZ branch. So now let's again press Q to quit this thing here and now let's clear out the console here. But now as you saw that firstly we need to create a branch and then we need to check out to that branch. So there could be an easy way. So what's that easy way? So before telling you the easy way, let's see that how do we delete the branch. So if we see here that is git branch, we have two branches master and xyz. So firstly let's try to delete this xyz branch. So let's do that. So to delete that xyz branch, what we can do, we can simply say git branch hyphen d to delete and then the name of the branch to delete. So that was xyz in our case. So this is the command here that is git branch hyphen d to delete and then the name of the branch. So now let's press enter. So we see that we cannot delete a branch xyz here and that is because currently we are on the xyz branch. Now to delete this branch what do we need to do? Firstly we need to switch the branch to the master branch. So let's switch back to master. So git check out master like this and now we should do git branch hyphen d to delete and the branch we want to delete what was xyz. So let's write the branch name that is xyz and now if I'll press enter we see that we deleted the branch xyz. So now let's make a log statement here hyphen hyphen one line to see one line logs and we see that nothing has changed in our logs though we created a branch deleted the branch but nothing has been committed so therefore there are no commits present here. So now if we look at the branches present inside our project so what we can do we can again do get branch and we see now we only have a single branch master. So now let's see that how do we create a branch and directly switch to that branch. So that is pretty easy to do. So let's clear out the console. So what I'll do I'll simply say get 
checkout hyphen b for the branch name we want to create and then the name of the branch we want to create so let's again create xyz branch like this so now what happens is this that we have switched to the new branch that is xyz so now we are on the xyz branch and we can make it sure by doing git branch so we see that the star is on the xyz branch so we are on the xyz branch so now this thing is complete so now you know that how to list a branch how to create a branch and how to delete a branch so now let's start working on this xyz branch to let's see that how do we merge a branch so since currently we are on the xyz branch so let's write something here so let's make a p tag here and it doesn't matter that what programming language you are using i am simply using html here because it's uh, super simple to do so what i uh, what i'll do here that is a uh, great feature j like this as it was here that is we are trying to add this great feature and now what i'll do i'll save this index.html and what i'll do i'll see git status here so now we see that we have modified index.html on the xyz branch so what we can do we need to make a commit here so before making a commit we need to git add so git add dot now git commit hyphen m for the message and we say that started feature j like this and now we have made our first commit on this xyz branch so if we get log here so git log hyphen hyphen one line we see that we have all the previous commits of the master branch and now we have this commit here that is from the xyz branch that says started feature j so now let's quit from here and now what i'll do i'll make a, another p tag here and we'll say that feature j complete like this or completed so now let's again save this index.html and now let's again do git add dot and now git commit hyphen m for the message and we'll say added feature j like this so now if we make a git log one line we'll see that we have this commit ready and now what we want to do since uh, our app was working great on the play store or the app store and now we want to merge this great feature j on the master branch so that we can push it to the app store or the play store or on the web so what i'll do firstly what we need to do let's look at this thing here so currently we are at this position and our master branch remains at this position here with the mvp ready and we'll be seeing that in a moment so let's go back to our application so we see that currently we are on the xyz branch and we have these two lines here that is great feature j and feature j complete so now let's switch back to the master branch so to switch back to the master branch we'll simply do git checkout not checkpoint but checkout master like this and we see that those two lines that were present in the xyz branch are removed from here and that is because on the master branch doesn't know about these two features so now what we want to do we want to merge the xyz branch into the master branch so how do we do that it is pretty simple so before merging the master branch let me show you the log statements of one line here so git log one line so here we see that we have only four commits here that is present on the master branch so now let's try to merge the xyz branch and it is for a reason that i am showing you these commits so now what i'll do to merge the branch of xyz into master what i'll do i'll simply do git merge xyz that is the branch we want to merge into master so again to merge a branch into the master branch or any other branch firstly you need to check out to that branch in which you want to merge since i wanted to merge into the master branch so therefore i checked out the master branch as we did here and now we'll do get merge and the name of the branch we want to merge into the branch that is in our case is master branch so if i'll press enter now we'll see that it happens automatically that is we see that one file is changed and two insertions were made and now we see that automatically these two lines that is 12 and 13 line that is great feature j and feature j complete has been included in our index.html so now let's do one thing let's make a log statement of one line so get log one line so we see that now we have 
these many commits that is six commits here previously we were here that is mvp ready ready and now we have these two commits coming from the xyz branch that is started feature j and added feature j so now sometimes you do not want to keep this commit history on the master branch that is here you only wanted to see that added feature j instead of seeing these two commits here that happened in the xyz branch you do not want to see that you only want a single commit here that is added feature j so how do we do that that is pretty simple and before doing that what we need to do firstly we want to know that how do we undo the merging of the branch so before merging of the branch we were at this position so let's copy this commit id and to undo this uh, merging of branch what we'll do we'll simply reset to this commit id here so therefore we have copied this commit id here and what i'll do i'll press q here and i'll say git reset dash dash hard and then the commit id here so if i'll press enter watch what happens that these two things that is these two lines that is 12 and 13 would be removed from here because we are resetting our commit history back to this commit id here so let's press enter here and we see that those two lines were gone from here and now if we make git log one line we see that we are at this position where mvp is ready so now let's again quit and let's check the log of our xyz branch so firstly let's check out xyz and if we make log statements here we see that we have these two commits here that is started feature j and added feature j so now let's switch back to the master branch and add these two commits as a single commit inside our master branch using merging so what do we do firstly we need to check out to the master branch so get checkout master like this and now we want to merge the xyz branch so get merge xyz and then you need to use another flag here that is called the squash flag so hyphen hyphen s q u a s h squash like this and now i'll press enter so we see that is a squash commit not updating head and we are fast forwarding so if we do git status here or let's make a git log one line here firstly so we see that nothing happened here inside our commits here so let's quit from here and now let's do git status so git status and we see that we have modified this index.html so now what we need to do manually is that that we need to make a commit here so what we'll do we'll simply do git we do not need to do git add again because that is already done by merging here so therefore we simply need to make a commit here so what we'll do we'll simply say git commit hyphen m for the message and added feature uh, let's keep it in small only so added feature j like this and now let's press enter and now let's do git log one line or git status we see that our working tree is clean and now let's do git log one line and we see now we have these thing this commit only that is added feature j which is coming from the xyz branch and we do not have the commit history of the xyz branch as there was previously when we have not used the squash flag so therefore this is how you merge branches using squashing so now let's go back to our slide and now let's see that how do we work with conflicts here that is if there are conflicts inside your application or in the branches so let's see merging of branches with conflicts in the very next video